Basic, very quick, how do you work on your character traits? Firstly, they don't define you. Don't say, this is who I am. I am a high anxiety person. Someone said that to me the other day. I'm a high anxiety person. I said, no, you're just having high anxiety thoughts and then feelings, but that's not who you are. You can actually change your thoughts and you change your feelings. We're gonna do that in the next class, but that doesn't define you. But once you say, I am, I am this, it's very hard to change. Once you say, I have this, I have this, it's like a disease. I have a disease. I have the disease called impatience. No one identifies as their disease. This is who I am. I am COVID. That's who I am. No one said that. I have COVID and I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to approve myself. So you aren't your negative character traits. You have negative character traits and therefore you can start working on them joyfully. One major way to work on your character traits, as I said, what is a character trait? A character trait is really a tendency, a way of being. So if you have one envious thought a month, do you have the trait of envy? You don't. But once you're thinking envious thoughts all the time and you're jealous of other people and you're putting yourself down, to the extent that you're thinking those negative things, you can be said to have that trait. That's what a trait is. And then how much you act on it, how much you shout at other people when you're angry, and that's what a trait is. So all you have to do is start modeling what would a calm person do in this situation? What would the best me in this situation? And you've got to be aware of the situations that are going to trigger you. Whenever I see my boss, I feel like this. Whenever my team loses, I feel like this. Whenever the guys are saying it, I... you've got to be aware of when your not so good character traits are going to be triggered. Be aware, get ready, and just shift how you behave. But you've got to prepare for that. How you're going to think. How would a calm person think now? What would a, a righteous person think and say and do? And even if you're not feeling it, we're gonna speak about dealing with your emotions in a healthy way. Never repress your emotions. We'll speak about that in the next class. But once you can start acting in that way, act like a generous person, then that starts changing you inside. And people say, fake it till you make it. I actually say it different. I say, fake it till you awake it. Because I think you're naturally healthy. I think you're naturally good. I think it's your natural state of being. I just think because of the abuse and the pain and the difficulty we have in life, we've developed these more negative things. But we are going to work on bringing out our true essence, which is loving and